Welcome to the Arduino tutorial on pulse width modulation using LED and buzzer. In this tutorial, we will learn about PWM that is pulse width modulation, PWM duty cycle, PWM frequency. To follow this tutorial, you should have basic knowledge of electronics and C or C++ programming language. To record this tutorial, I am using Arduino Uno board, Windows operating system and Arduino IDE. We will also require some external component such as breadboard, LED, 220 ohm register, jumper wire. Here you can see the component required for the experiment. Here Arduino Uno board, jumper cable, LED, 220 ohm resistance, buzzer and breadboard is available. PWM signal is a square wave signal which has high frequency that is 1 kilohertz. PWM is a technique by which the width of the pulse is varied. It is done while keeping the frequency of wave constant. PWM signal consists of two main property that define its behavior that are duty cycle and frequency. It is a percentage of a time a digital signal is on over a period of time. Duty cycle can be varied from 0 to 100 percent. The formula to calculate the percentage of duty cycle is shown here. T on is equal to the duration of time when the signal is high. T off is equal to the duration of time when the signal is low. Time period is T on plus T off that is equal to the sum of on time and off time of PWM signal. Frequency determines how fast the PWM completes a cycle. That is how fast it switches from high to low state. We will perform one simple experiment by varying duty cycle. This will control the brightness of LED. Arduino Uno has 6 PWM channel. Pin 3, 5, 6, 9, 10 and 11 on Arduino Uno are PWM channel. PWM channel are denoted by tilde sign. Let us see the circuit connection now. Connect anode leg of the LED to pin number 9 of the Arduino through 220 ohm register. Connect the cathode leg of LED to ground. This is live setup of the connection. Do the connection as shown in the image. Let us open the Arduino IDE. We will write a program to change the brightness of LED using PWM pin. Type this code as shown here. We have assigned PWM pin 9 to the variable LED pin. We have initialized duty underscore cycle underscore value as 1 for LED to turn on. Inside a void setup, we will write pin mode function. We have declared pin 9 of the Arduino as output. Inside void loop function, we will write this code. Let me explain the code. While loop executes the code till the duty cycle value is below 255. Analog write function is used to generate PWM signal. We are passing two parameters that is PWM pin number and the duty cycle value. The duty cycle value must be between 0 to 255 that is between 0 volt to 5 volt. We will keep a delay of 3000 milliseconds, that is 3 seconds. Click on the compile button to verify the program. A pop-up window will appear to save the current program. Let us save the program as LED brightness and click on the save button. Now click on upload button to upload the current program on Arduino board. Now click on upload button to upload the current program on Arduino board. We will see the brightness of LED increase gradually. We can also control the speed and the direction of DC motor using the PWM concept. Here I have done all the circuit connection as per the given diagram. Now I will upload the code. As I upload the code, TXRX pin is blinking. Now LED will glow and intensity is increasing with every cycle you can see. Let me show you output from another angle. I upload the code. Now LED will increase its intensity step by step. Plus 1, 2, plus 1, plus 1. So we can see LED intensity is increasing gradually.
this bring us to the end of this tutorial let us summarize in this tutorial we learn about pulse width modulation pwm duty cycle pwm frequency as an assignment connect a buzzer instead of led in the above circuit diagram connection upload the same program and check the output you will hear a noise with different frequencies now we will perform the assignment as per the assignment i have replaced the led with the buzzer so now let me upload the code As I upload the code, now just listen the buzzer sound. So here buzzer sound increase gradually. Do you have question in this Arduino tutorial? Please contact us through the given contact details. Thank you.